How can you get mods in Minecraft 1.21.1? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to get mods, specifically Forge mods, but there are two other Minecraft mod loaders you might want to use. I recommend going with the mod loader that most of the mods you want are for. For example, Forge mods are not going to work with Fabric or Neo Forge. What do I mean by that? Well, Fabric is another mod loader. There's this guide linked in the description down below, which shows you how to get Fabric for 1.21.1. It covers everything you need to know, but if most of your mods are for Fabric, go with the Fabric mod loader. You might have to give up a few mods, but the majority you will be able to use. Same thing with NeoForge. If most of your mods are for NeoForge, there's a guide in the description down below on how to play NeoForge mods in 1.21.1, and it will go over everything you need to know to get NeoForge set up and play those mods. Forge and NeoForge are not compatible whatsoever, so make sure that you're downloading the correct mods. Forge and NeoForge do not mix. Like I said for this video though, we're going to be using Forge, so go to the second link in the description down below and that will take you here. This is our in-depth guide on getting Forge in 1.21.1. It covers everything in text format and video format, but we're going to go over everything in this video as well. Go ahead and click on the download Forge button to go to Forge's official download page. On this page, we want to click on 1.21 on the left hand side and then select 1.21.1. Then, under Download Latest here, go to Installer, and when you click that, it will take you off to Add Focus. Stop! Don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Put your hands in the air. Wait about 10 seconds. Do not click a single button on this page. What are you doing? I said don't click anything. Just wait 10 seconds. After about 10 seconds, a red Skip button will appear in the top right. That is the only thing you want to click on this page is that red Skip button. When you click on that, it will go ahead and prompt you to keep or save Forge. It's 100% safe to do that as long as Forge is in the title. We're going to go ahead and click Save here, and while Forge is downloading, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown.xyz slash sgh to start your very own Forge, Fabric, or NeoForge Minecraft server in just a few clicks. You can easily add your mods to that server and customize it any way that you want. Plus, if you'd rather have a mod pack from Curse Forge or Modern, there are hundreds of mod packs with simple one-click installation, allowing you to get them up and running in just a few minutes. Lastly, there's expert live chat support there to help you out if you have any issues along the way. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the Breakdown to XYZ says SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Nevertheless, now we need to download some mods. We've got Forge. What about our mods? Well, in the description down below, there are links to CurseForge and Modrinth. This is where you want to be downloading mods from, one of these two sites. You can filter by your mod loader, Forge in our case, but also Fabric or NeoForge, and your game version. We want 1.21.1 mods. Most 1.21 mods will work in 1.21.1. It's one of the few Minecraft versions that that's the case. But generally, you just want to make sure that everything is 1.21.1 compatible. So filtering for that version is good. We can see all these mods here are the same thing can be done on Modrinth. You can come here on the left hand side, search for Forge and for the version 1.21.1. Now, the specific mods we're going to be installing here are Tree Harvester. Tree Harvester is a mod that allows you to easily chop down trees. On CurseForge, when you're downloading a mod, you'll go to Files, find the version that you want, and you can filter here for Game Version and Mod Loader, for example. Click the three dots next to it and click Download File, and the download will begin after a few seconds. Similar to when we downloaded Forge, you may need to keep or save the file. Now, one thing that's worth noting is if we just installed Tree Harvester by itself, it wouldn't work. That's because it needs another mod. It needs... Collective. Collective is a compatibility mod, a library mod, a core mod. They're called a bunch of different things, but basically it's a mod that Tree Harvester uses in order to work. The download process is the same here. We can go to Files, find the Forge 1.21.1 version, click the three dots and click Download. Keeping and saving, it's the exact same as well, but this is needed if you're going to play Tree Harvester. How do we know that? Well, if you install Tree Harvester without it, it'll actually tell you that it's not going to work because you need Collective, but you can also see, requires library mod Collective here. It's important when you're downloading mods to check to see if they need anything. For example, Bob's of Plenty is a super popular mod that needs two mods, a mod called Glitch Core and a mod called Terra Blender in order to work. Lastly, how do you download mods on Modern? Well, we're going to be using Simple Voice Chat as our example here. This is a mod that allows you to talk to your friends if you have it installed on a server and you're playing on that server together, but we're going to install it in single player in this case just because I want to show you how to download stuff on Modern. So if we go to versions here, we can filter on Modern as well by our loader, which in this case is going to be Forge, by our version, which in this case is going to be 1.21.1, and there you go. There's the Forge 1.21.1 version of Simple Voice Chat. Click the green download button. Keep or save the file, and you're good to go. Now what we want to do is go ahead and minimize our browser. Then we want to move all the stuff we've downloaded to our desktops. That's going to be all of our mods, collective, tree harvester, and voice chat, as well as forge. 
Once these are on your desktop, we're going to actually be focusing on using Forge first because we need to install Forge in order to install our Forge mods. To do that, go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But if for whatever reason you don't have Java here, or you do, you click OK and it doesn't work, you get some sort of an error, that's because you need Java 21. As of Minecraft 1.21, you need Java 21. So you want to go ahead and make sure you download and install Java 21 for Minecraft mods. This is of course linked in the description down below and goes over everything you need to know to get Java 21 up and running. We also have a link in the description down below to the jar fix. This is going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. First though, get Java 21, then run the jar fix, and then with that you will be able to install Forge. Right click on it, click on open with, click Java, and click OK. At this point it's super easy to install Forge. Just click install client, click OK, and now it will install. The only reason this would fail is if you've never played Minecraft 1.21.1 before, you have to play 1.21.1. If you've played 1.21 flat, right, no point one at the end, it won't work. And if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open, this can have issues, so make sure both of those are closed. Nonetheless, once it is finished, you will be prompted to go ahead and click OK to continue, and that Forge is successfully installed, which here it is. Click OK, closes out of Forge, and now we can get our mods installed. To do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher and play Minecraft using our Forge 1.21.1 installation. To do this, go to installations up here at the top and make sure modded is selected. If it's not selected, Forge won't be there, but if we click modded, there it is, Forge 1.21.1. You can play Minecraft using this, but if you don't have Forge, or you don't have the right version of Forge, it doesn't say 1.21.1 under it, click new installation. You can mention anything you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because that is the easiest way to play Minecraft with mods with your friends. Go ahead and click the versions drop down box here, and then select the 1.21.1 Forge option. Change your resolution if you need to. I'm just doing that so you can see better once we get in game and click create. Now we want to play Minecraft using our SimpleGameHosting.com installation because we didn't have that Forge installation. If you had that Forge installation with 1.21.1, go ahead and play that. Luckily, the hard part's done. That's it. That's the hard part. The easy part is actually installing your mods once you have Forge. It's going to probably blow your mind how easy this is once we're on the main menu. All you've got to do is from the main menu, click on Mods, and then click Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the main menu, click Mods, and then open mods folder in the bottom left. Then drag and drop collective, tree harvester, voice chat, or any other Minecraft mods you want to install into mo the mods folder here. Now as you can see, these are all for 1.21.1, and in the case of voice chat, it does clarify. It is the Forge version. Now we can go ahead and close out of the mods folder, and they're not here. What we want to do is actually quit Minecraft and reopen it up, playing Minecraft with our Forge installation. Anytime you want to play Minecraft with mods, you have to play it with your Forge installation. So if we go to installations here, we have Forge, play it with that, or the installation that you created. And now, once Minecraft is open, your mods will be installed. We can check this in a few ways. First, going to mods here, we'll see the simple voice chat collective and tree harvester. That indicates everything is working. But we also want to go ahead and jump into single player because why not? So we will do a new world just so things are for sure safe. Sometimes if you add mods to existing worlds, it can cause issues. As long as it's a vanilla world, generally it's okay. But once you add mods to a world, you can't really undo that. They're in that world for Ever. So here we are in game. We can see that simple voice chat is active in the bottom left down here. That's really the only indication we have since this is more of a multiplayer mod. As far as tree harvester goes, all we've got to do is come up here, hold shift or sneak if you will, and click and boom, that entire tree disintegrates. Since we're in creative, we don't even have to cut it down. If you were to go to survival, you do actually have to chop the tree down. So if we uh, do that, we break one and boom, there you go. The entire tree is basically destroyed, and it replants it, which is actually really cool. So yeah, Tree Harvester, an amazing utility mod. Simple voice chat, really cool for servers and talking to your friends on it. And speaking of servers, check out SimpleGameHosting.com. First link in the description down below to start a server, and we'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.